Okay, I have a question. What is it about straight men that make them think they're God's gift to gay men and that every gay man walking down the street wants them? Um, I, I'm kind of, I understand the whole little straight man is forbidden fruit and is the, the ideal and the notion that they, they hadn't been sampled, they hadn't been touched. They've been touched by somebody at some point in time and at the end of the day, they're not, they're, it's not like you're getting a golden ticket. If it was a golden ticket, they'd be on Oprah or some other talk show like Oprah in The View. What brings this about and brings this up is that I live in a city where there's a whole bunch of quote quote gay guys chasing after these straight boys, straight men, and whatever you want to call them, whatever they may be. If they that straight and they're doing it with you, they ain't that straight, boo boo. They got a quip of being some, somewhere in their life. Trust me, I would know and you should know that too. If all these girls walking around thinking they in the perfect relationship and they man on the low low, on the creep creep, the walk behind, the go behind, the walk around, you being perfectly blind. You know what's going on. You've seen the looks. You've seen the eyes. And you, you've been around when that awkward moment happened when there's a gay guy that comes around and they say hi, I say do something to you around your man. And you kind of look the other way. Baby, you're not winning no Academy Awards for that performance because you know just like everybody else know, they're doing the creep. they own the low. And you're not perfectly blind. If you was perfectly blind, you would be out of your mind. Because every time they hit the door and you wasn't with them, you'd be wondering what was going on. What they who they with and what they was doing. If you got a gay neighbor, and I happen to be a gay neighbor, don't think your man is gonna end up in my place because I'm gay and you ain't doing what you need to be doing at home. If you start telling your business, you might not have those concerns or those worries. Um, the words that I'm talking about is, you know, oh, I don't lick on lollipops. I don't do all of that. I'm not putting that in my mouth. Oh, <laughs> well, let me put it to you in terms you can understand. It's prerequisites. That's part of the prerequisites. If you ain't doing it, somebody else is doing it. And it may not be me. It may be some your best girlfriend, Jerry Springer, full of them shows. So, for the old girl who came knocking at the door thinking I was creeping with her man at one point in time, no, no, ma'am, it wasn't me. Hate, hate to bust your bubble, hate to take you out your perfectly blind world, but not me. Your man is cute, but he ain't that cute. And if he was that cute, trust me, you would know because I've been told you, ooh, you got some goodness going on over there. But you don't. So don't be knocking on my door, and don't be knocking on nobody else's door because all it's doing is making you look like a fool. The person who you know you need to be knocking on is the bedroom door at your house with your man. And you need to be handling that out at home. And if you can't get it handled at home, you need to tell him, get down. Let me help you. That door is that way. The street is outside. I will put your stuff out there for you. I know it's hard, and I know you don't want to think about it, but you can get through that. You can do better. And if you don't think you can, you won't. You'll stay with that situation. And you'll still be walking around thinking every man that's walking down the street that happens to be gay is telling upon your man. You got two options. Leave. <laughs> that's the option I would take. Or stay and continue to handle what you've been handling. Knowing your man is creeping, knowing your man is on the low, and still letting it go on. That way, you can't be walking around singing, oh, I'm perfectly blind. No, ma'am, you're not. And since I'm telling you you're not, we all, the world, know you're not anymore. So it's up to you to handle this situation. Nobody else.